Hey guys, today I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on Motion 5, a green screen tutorial. This is something that a few of you guys have asked me about. Uh, I've done a few other tutorials on my other YouTube channel on Motion 5, uh, but I haven't done a green screen one, so I uh, hope you guys enjoy and learn something. So first off, we've got uh, just my still picture right here, and by the way, this is going to work obviously exactly the same with the video. It doesn't matter if you're using video or photo, just as long as you have a solid green background, it'll work. So I'm working with the photo right here just for the sake of time. Alright, so I've got my clapper board right here and I'm wanting to put an image in the background where the green is. So first thing I'm going to do is just double click on my base layer and then I'm going to go up here to library right up by file browser and inspector. Click library and then right here you'll find right underneath behaviors, the behavior tab Right underneath that is filters. You want to click on that, and then you want to go to the folder that says keying. Click on that, and then you'll find uh, one inside that folder called keyer. You want to grab that effect and drag and drop it just right on top of um, your base layer. So I'm just going to drop that right there, and as you can see, the green is now gone. But there still is just kind of a bit of a greenish not so good looking line I guess uh, kind of around your object and so the way you want to get a, uh, get that away is underneath the keying folder again which we're still on it's called matte magic you want to drag and drop that right on top of it as you can see that did nothing so what we're going to do is click this uh, box right here it's called the HUD or uh, you can go F7 and it'll bring it up so you just click that and then it brings up this box right here and this is where we're going to just kind of fine-tune the edges of where some of the green kind of missed so we're going to do erode we're going to bring that up all the way the shrink we're going to bring up just a, just a hair and then the feather we're going to bring up a little bit as well so that looks pretty good now we're going to add in our background so I'm just going to grab this picture right here which you can just drag and drop right on your screen so just drag and drop it right on there we go okay so now as you can see this is the picture I want in the background but right now it's uh, covering up my clapperboard so I can't see it so what I'm gonna do right here is in the layers tab right here I'm just going to grab my uh, base layer and I'm gonna put it right on top of my background and there we go now we have our clapperboard right on top, all the green is keyed out, and we have that on top of uh, my background now. So that is how you key out green, uh, do a green screen effect in Apple Motion 5. And another quick thing I want to show you guys is, here we go, let's see, let's double click on um, our base layer, the one that we keyed the green out of, and uh, you can do some things to it to, just to make it look a little a little more realistic and nicer. You can add a drop shadow, which I'm going to do real quickly. And again, it'll just make it look a little nicer. Bring the opacity up all the way on that. Make the distance go out a little. Add some blur to it to make it look more realistic. And I'm going to change the angle just a hair. Um, okay, so that's looking pretty good. All right, so just uh, let me change the angle. Okay. So that looks pretty good now, and of course then you can add all your texturing and you know whatever else you're going to do to it. But that is just basically how to do a green screen effect in Apple Motion 5. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials, reviews, and other things. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.